Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the City Skylines Submitted City Traffic Fix and City Fix Livestream. In this video, I'm going to fix someone else's city and its traffic. I've got a really cool city uh, to work on for today, uh, so I, I think you guys will really like it. Hi, Pink. How are you? Welcome. I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, our city today uh, was created by Holden Milanowski. Holden Milanowski. Uh, title is Never Ending Traffic Battles. And the description is Trafficville by Holden Milanowski. So, hey, Holden, uh, thanks for uploading your city. Looking forward to uh, working on it. I'm doing well, Pink. Thank you for asking. Had a good week and a good weekend. So it's been nice. Nice to do another uh, city fix. So uh, with uh, the city fix, I should give you traffic tips, city layout tips, unemployment tips, finance tips. So uh, a variety of uh, tips and suggestions, a guide for uh, many aspects to help improve a city. Uh, and uh, there is on YouTube, there's a playlist of a boatload of submitted cities that I've already fixed. So you can watch those as well, including a beginner's guide, metro subway guide, and um, uh, uh, traffic manager guide as well. Yeah, hopefully there will be some funny, uh, funny clips, Pink. Uh, so the city is a small city. It's got 30,000 on the population. It is profitable or it is growing. Uh, uh, Holden was playing with limited money, so that's great. Uh, it's got 2 million, 2.7 million, and it's this is a good profitability, 16,000 a week. That's good. There's a lot of demand for industry office and commercial. No demand for the residential. Uh, city is called Garden Bills. So I ran the city with no despawning, and Holden was actually playing with no despawning. So hey, good job on both of those, limited money and no despawning. So Holden was playing with no despawning, and I ran it to see where the traffic bottoms out at. It's not bad. At, uh, it's not good, but it's not bad. This is kind of mediocre. It's at 60%, 60%. So I think that we'll be able to fix the traffic relatively quickly, and I'll, I want to go over those tips and do that, but then we're going to work on a lot of other aspects for the city as well. So uh, in this case, I'm not going to load up the original save game because the traffic flow is pretty, uh, already pretty high. There wasn't much of a difference with the original save game. So let's uh, first start out with the traffic manager settings. Make sure that those are set up correctly. So let me do that. And as I do that, I, I have gotten some new subscribers and followers, so I definitely want to give uh, those new subscribers and followers a thank you. Uh, so on um, on Twitch, by the way, you can watch live streams are on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously, so you can watch on whichever one you want. I think I gave this person a shout out before, but in case I did not, uh, Dogwater77. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it, Dogwater. Thank you. He followed on uh, Twitch, so these are the new Twitch followers, and then we'll do YouTube. And then Master of Pet Leader. So thank you to both of you on Twitch and then on YouTube. Um, uh, Solium W. Solium W. And then I don't know how to say this next person's name. Uh, Nihon Lee. So thank you, Nihon. And is that coming through? There we go. Okay, great. And then uh, the last one for YouTube is Brock Jansen. So thank you to all of you for subscribing and following. Really appreciate it. Of course, if you like the video, smash that like button. If you don't like it, you can hit dislike. And if you want to support me more, please do subscribe or follow. And if you want me to work on your city, uh, you can put it in the comments below on YouTube or you can put it on the uh, Discord. And then there is a merch store and then a way to donate if you want to support me that way. All right. So uh, uh, traffic manager settings. Let's see here. Uh, simulation accuracy is set to very high. We want to change that to low. Okay, so that's one change. Uh, advanced vehicle AI is not turned on, so that needs to be enabled. So enable the advanced vehicle AI. 
and that's good there for gameplay policies automatically add traffic lights if applicable that's turned on it needs to be turned off and I think that should be it let me see if there's anything else for that mm. yeah I think that's good okay good let me put it back on the screen so traffic manager is set up so it wasn't set up uh, ideally Um, all right, so let's take a look. How is the city laid out? So here's the zoning. I've got a nice set of commercial going over to the highway. Great. Uh, and the, these are apartment complexes. Okay, so high density. High density residential over here. Then we got the homes over here. A little bit of commercial. You got some office space, some more homes. Okay. I like the layout. Um, I like the layout, and I like... I think I like just the way that it looks. You know, kind of like this little boulevard that comes down over here on the southeast side. This little park coming, uh, coming over from the northeast to the west. I like that. So, um... There's no industry. There's no industry. So this is a problem. Uh, the city should have some industry. It obviously has some offices. Unless you were doing something unique where you did not want to build a city with industry. But you really should. Because look at the demand. And then what's the unemployment rate? Is it high? Yep. That's what I thought. That's why I was going to take a look at that. So the unemployment rate is horrendous so one there's demand for industry unemployment is very high so that's a that's right there um, those are two issues and then I assume then that it's importing yeah so these are goods that are being imported it's exporting some tr interesting it's exporting forestry products but there's no industry here to make that okay so traffic will also get reduced if it's importing less so those are all things that we want to work on how do you get into the city how do you get into the city coming over here there's one way to get in it looks like nobody's using that because it's too far out everybody's using this to get in hardly anybody is using this to get in very interesting so you got one, though that one really doesn't count. There's nothing over here, over there. So you got one and two ways to get into the city for a population of 30,000. That's, that's fine. So it just needs to be fine-tuned. So uh, you got some cross streets, so that's good to go over the highway. Let's get to work. By the way, what is this section over here? What is this? All, all your electricity is over here. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, but you have some of your incineration plants over here? Okay. Got it. It's not too much of a problem. Nirasa, hi! Welcome back. How are you doing? Uh, the other thing that I will make a, a note of is, see right up here? This residential area way up here on this north side? That shouldn't be there. That's too far. That, that should be like right over here. You got to keep things close to the highway. Or over here, or over here, close to the highway. The only reason why you'd want to put it up here is if there's a plan to actually put a highway up here. And maybe that was. Uh, but probably not good to put that there until the highway is there. All right, so let's get to it. Let's get started on the traffic. So everybody is coming in this way. Again, right, no despawning, right? Is this a dedicated turning lane? It is. By the way, do you use oh you do oh you do oh so um you don't want to use these intersection instructions they will normally hurt do you use lane connectors you don't want to use those either i don't see them over here okay all right so you do have a dedicated turning lane solid And then everybody's coming over here and they want to take a left. 
Okay. Um, so we can remove this, and basically we need more lanes for people to actually turn left right here. And this is just a two-lane road? Hmm. Now, this, uh, I wonder if this was made with Road Anarchy? So I'm just going to see if I can upgrade this from a two-lane one-way. Hey, Edward! How are you doing? How's your weekend going? So we're gonna just up, I wanna just see if I can upgrade that. Okay, yeah, I can. So I just upgraded it from a two to a three lane. And I wanna make both of the left lanes turn left. And then I wanna upgrade this. Let me see, can I upgrade it? Oh, good, 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 good. Great, okay, so I just upgraded that from a two-lane road to a four-lane road. And then, if anybody has taken a left, you get in the left lane. If you're going straight, you get in the right lane. So that should hopefully help this. Um, though it looks like it probably needs a larger exit ramp. So let's do a two lane. Will it let me? Yeah. So instead of one lane, I'm doing a two lane out. This is caused by road anarchy right there. Um, and I tried to build the roads with uh, vanilla. All right, so we'll... We'll, we'll leave it like that for the time being. Okay, um, so that should help address this. Now, um, let's kind of come over here. So then people hit this roundabout. What's going on in the roundabout? I don't see anything. Is it set up correctly? It's not. So uh, if you're on the roundabout, you can block the box. If you're on the roundabout, you can block the box. Block and block. Okay. That should help it out. Um, where else is there traffic? Like right over here? What are these cool trees? That's really nice. Wow. That's beautiful. Solid work. Good job. So you've got quite a few cars waiting right here. So in order to not mess up the zoning, we're going to upgrade this from a two lane to four. Two lane to four, just to increase the capacity. And then if you're on this left lane, you've got to turn left. The right lane can go straight and right. Okay, so then you've got one lane coming out into this roundabout. And are they waiting? Yeah, because of the yield sign. There you go. Another reason why you don't want to use those. That'll help that. I think that's good. Where else is it really busy? There's like a couple little spots right here. Okay, I think I can hit play. Let's go ahead and hit play. I just want to see how this starts to move. Now you'll see that all these cars are taking left. That's because they didn't have a chance to bust out into the right lane to go straight. We'll zoom out because of the noise right there. I'm just kind of curious to see how this is going to work. I mean, there's some movement happening. I'll leave it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Why, why, um, you guys see this? Why do you have to come over here and take a left? Why not just go right? What is this? What is this, the purpose of this? That actually should be a two-way. And so the cars can come up here and take a right so they're not crossing over this. Here, let me change that. I don't like this intersection. I wouldn't recommend using it. There. I want to know if people go straight, come up here, and then just take a right over here rather than crossing over. Anybody? Nope. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Okay, let's update this to uh, from 2 to 4. I use primarily the Vanilla Plus roads, except for city fixes, just to not mess up the zoning. Um, I'm using the skinny. Uh, but it, this skinny four-lane road, it's brand new, and there's a vanilla version of it. But uh, So I use nothing but the vanilla roads, um, except on my three-lane one-way roads, I do use a Vanilla Plus road to get some trees. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm just looking to see how this intersection operates, otherwise I'm really interested in destroying it. Okay, some cars are going this way. Nice. I'll just try to keep it and see if I can get it working. Rather than replacing it with what I would do in its stead. Nice. We'll see if that works. Okay, good. Are you guys that cleaning this out? Good. All right, what do you guys got? What What are you doing, my friend? You got a yield sign here? Yeah, that's why. Okay, good. That's why you guys are waiting. Done. Okay. Remove that. Remove this. Get those guys to go. Okay. So removing those intersection signs. Let's see what what else we got. What's going on over here? I love those trees, man. Those look really cool. Each car is waiting right here. Why are you guys waiting? I don't understand. Wow, that is very taking too long. I'm gonna have to destroy those trees. I'm gonna have to update this. Get this to flow faster. Sorry about that. What do we got over here? nothing so um, the unfortunate part is that there's tram it's a road for tram but then there's only two lanes that makes it very tough because there's now no room for expansion so remember when you're building just build with these medium roads stick with those those upgrade to the large roads very easily it doesn't mess up your zoning the only reason why you want to use the skinny ones is if it's some kind of dead-end road that leads to nowhere. Like this. You know, leads to nowhere. 
just some city utilities. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, where else do we have traffic? Oh, we're solved. <laughs> there you go. Done. Uh, how fast? 20 minutes. I love it. So let's. Uh, we'll just do a little bit more polishing, and then I want to work on the other parts of the city. So we'll remove that because it's holding up these cars right here. Oh, there's cars waiting right here. I see that there's mass transit, so good job there. Okay, that's the area that I just worked on. And that was just red because of the yield signs. Great. I mean, I don't see any... I don't see any backlog. Look at that. Remember, the, the, uh, I don't know, um, the traffic was going out of the city limit. I didn't even actually look to see how far it went back. And so, fixed. Done. We're at 85%. All right, let's start working on the other parts of the city. What's a big, huge issue? The unemployment rate is horrendous. So let's pause. The city is importing goods. That's the main piece. Now, are there enough dumb people to work? 15%? That's a little bit low. What is, what is this place? It's a city park. Beautiful. Well done. This is another city park. Man. A lot of attention detail went into this. Great, great work. Great work. Okay, so we we need um, we need just straight up generic industry. And you want to put industry near a highway and near commercial. Technically, this would be a good spot right here, but this has immediate highway access. So it'd be great to put it right over here. What, what size road is this? So let's upgrade this so that it can handle what it's going to handle with the... Upgrading it from a three-lane road to a three-lane highway. And then we're going to upgrade this from a skinny road to a four-laner. And we're going to put some industry right off of here, and you'll see the amount being imported plummet and the unemployment rate drop. Um, what, what is this? That looks cool as hell. That's like the bus stop, right? A bus station. And what is this? Tram depot? And the incineration plant. I love that, man. Such good planning right there. So. Man, I want to, I want to like fill in this part. some industry going in here. Okay. And generic industry. I think that's good. We don't want to overbuild. So let's hit play. They will need electricity. That should be easy to get over here. And they're going to need water. You put the water right under the roads. Smart. Great job.
So, oh, okay, it's already building in. Great, already building in, wonderful. You guys are going to need some electricity, though. Okay, so you just let that fill in, and then just keep this in mind. 1,700 is being imported. Unemployment is 63, so it should start to plummet. And then what you'll see is this road is going to start to get really busy. And this is going to start to get really busy. So we do want to give them a way... Uh, into this area So let's make this off-ramp. I don't think it needs to be it Doesn't need to be so long Drop this back down to three right here Bam. and then let's do a nice little off-ramp to this new industrial area too sharp there you go another way to get into the industrial area and then away from the industrial area to get out perfect that's why you put it near the highway all right let's uh let's bring some electrical bam Come on. No. There you go. Okay. Very good. Let's take let's keep on going. Let's take a look at what else we've got for uh, the city while it's doing that. By the way, when I did load up the game, there was no water. Uh, so it may be a mod or something didn't come through. So I did put some uh, pumping stations right here. And some uh, sewage treatment plants right over here. So I did have to do that. Fire. You got a fire station right here. You got a fire station right here. Eh, seems fine. Police. Um, your jail capacity to detain criminals is kind of maxed out. It'd be good to put another one. Maybe in this new section that we just did? What kind of police stations are you using? Police headquarters. You're using the modern type? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll uh, put that in here. There you go. So, again, we've got so much industry uh, zoned out, but not all of it has been taken. Which is fine. And so we'll let that, let time run to see what happens there. And the unemployment rate is dropping gradually, which is fine. And there is some need for commercial. Why isn't there any high density commercial? Right, it's all low density. So there should be some high-density commercial. Um, so what we can do is... Put some somewhere. Maybe right here? And then about right here. Okay, let's uh, speed it up. And then let's take a look at the mass transit. I would not recommend doing uh, the tram. 
it hurts the upgradeability for the roads. It's better to do a subway system. There's a lot of people waiting on the buses. Holy moly! There's a lot. What about the tram system? There's a lot of people waiting on the trams, too. I mean, I can go ahead and put in a subway system really quick. So this is filling out nicely. And look at the demand. The demand has now dropped. And look, this is skyrocketing. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll, it'll do that. The reason why it's doing it is because I also put in some commercial. So it's going to take some time for it to adjust. Okay. Uh, we got some sewage issues. So let's bump up the budget for water. And there's good walkability. I see a lot of people walking, so I think it's fine. I don't think we really need to do anything with uh, more mass transit right now. We just have to let it run. Uh, no, I don't think so, Pink. I think it's just regular, standard, city fix stuff. Um, so while we're letting it run, uh, let's just take a look and see if there's anything else. Uh, I do want to take a look at the city policies. So, what kind of city... Because I, I do see some of them in place. Free public transport, that's fine. I mean, you got the money for it. Okay. So, like, what's this? What's this? High-rise ban? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, sure, if you want that. Let's take a look and see if there's any other districts right over here. What's this? No rebuilding. Okay, interesting. Okay, uh, that's fine. I won't make any changes to those. Oh, it's a new commercial area that we built. This place is still filling out. Notice that there's demand, then the zoning starts to get built out, the demand goes down, then it rises again, and the next set of zoning starts to get built out. How much bigger can we make this? We can make it a little bit bigger, possibly. Possibly. Let's take a look at your garbage collection. I saw one right here, and then there's three over here. We can destroy one of these. Next one should be built near here. Okay, let's take a look at the crematoriums. You got three right over here. One. Oh, geez. Quite a few. I don't think you need that many. And then you can empty the cemetery. Once you can do crematoriums, you can empty the cemeteries. And then we'll... I don't think you need two right next to each other. So a little bit of polishing on the financials with deleting some of the excess services. A little bit of polishing on the death care. Education is good. Big thing is... This right here, look at that. Unemployment dropping. It's going to take time, of course. Yeah, and you can see that, hey, the import is still rising. Well, it, we'll, we'll have to keep on plugging away at it. It'll start to adjust.
So let's uh, let it run fast. And then we should be able to put in a little bit more industry in this area, and then that'll be it. We don't want to overload the road system too much. But we, we do have more capacity. You know, it's right next to the highway. We put in a nice four-lane road, so we've got capacity. And if you're wondering, hey, why is there demand for commercial and industry office but no residential? Because nobody can get a job here. The unemployment rate is too high. Once that starts to go down, you'll see the demand for the residential jump. What is the happiness of the people here? Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, this is almost all filled out. Okay. A lot of demand for commercial, a lot of demand for industry. Alright, good. I can go ahead and destroy this right here. It's all set up nicely, and I can fill that in. There you go. So we just want to keep on building out some more industry. We have room. We definitely have room. Let me see how much more I could fit in this area by the highway. And eventually it'll hit, it'll hit a stabilization point where that demand won't be as high. city is more profitable already than it was before. Maybe I can put the road right off of here. Come on. There you go. Pause. There. Let's get that. There you go. And let's fill some of this out. As always, Stream Vibes music playing in the background. You can check it out on most music platforms all over the world. And if you want to use it on your own streams and content, you can. You will not get a copyright strike. It's my music. I own the copyright. So you can use it for your streams and content. Um, all right. Let's fill this in. How much goods is that? I think that should be okay. I think that the road system should be able to handle that. Let's get some water. How's the road system doing considering the expansion? It's handling it just fine. This roundabout, it's going to start to run into some problems. Can this road be connected right here? Was there an intention to do that? Mm. 
there'll be there'll need to be like an off ramp and an on ramp right over here to help because this road is not going to be able to handle further expansion what is what is this big old tower is this like a cell phone tower what is this tall radio mast <laughs> that's pretty cool I've never seen that before so emergency broadcast okay that's neat man I like this city yeah that's neat all right how we doing 52%. So it's dropped 11%. So like right here off the highway, this would be a great place to have some shops. give them some other working locations with uh, some offices right there and look this is residential zoning it hasn't filled in because of no demand What was the plan for this? It's like this beautiful dirt road and everything. What was the plan here? Farmland? I mean, there's all these trees. Was this supposed to be for forestry? I don't know. I mean, would you like to live here? I mean, normally people like to have trees on their property, so it seems like you could do mixed use. And look, people are using this road to get out. So that's good. They're using this new road that I built to get out, and that will alleviate some of the pressure here. Because we are going to run into traffic problems. We're going to run into traffic problems right here. You'll be able to see it here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you can see it, right? Oh, why is this a right turn only lane? Absolutely not. It's supposed to be like that. Th there isn't even a right turn road. Left turn only. Should help that move a little bit better. There, there are a lot of people walking right here. Oh, there's people walking right here. I see that. When it gets, starts to get too bad, we'll put some elevated paths, but, I mean, it's not. We're at 83. There's not really much of a backlog. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry about that. There you go. There you go. And these guys are giving us an icon of too few services. I got gotcha, you, no problem. You got police right over here, and uh, too few services means that they need some other stuff, you know, like uh, death care, or health care, schools, that kind of thing. So, you know, these two are so close together. We can just take one of these, move it over. I'll make him happy. Um, and then these guys need some water. Um, can I come over here? There. All right. 50% unemployment, excellent. And so it needs some commercial. So I'm going to go ahead and update one of these policies right here. 
Bam, bam. Let's do that. And let's give it some time to let that take effect. And we're just going to wait a little bit. Holy moly. Look at this. Look at the traffic. This is industry. These are all industrial trucks. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah. Which is expected. Industry creates a lot of traffic. Still no demand for residential. Can you believe that? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? So can you do like uh, a little commercial section like right here and make a little residential section right here? Would that be possible? By the way, what? Are, what? Are, why are you taking so long? Ah, there you go. And then this one does have a lot of traffic, so let's go ahead and do an elevated path. He hello, everybody. Um, can you... Can you use this elevated path, please? I wish I could get closer. Oh, man. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right there. Great. Page up and page down to, uh, shoot, come on, to uh, create an elevated path. So just did the elevated path, and then uh, tell the people, don't use this ground crosswalk. There you go. Use the elevated crosswalk, and that will help this traffic flow much better. We'll give it time. We'll give it time. We've got commercial demand. It'd be great to... Commercial should be next to industry. I mean, we could line it down over here. We can also put it right there. I would prefer to put it over here, frankly. Um, how far can I? Do something like that. just a little bit farther out. Just a little bit farther out. Get the density right. And I don't want to connect it to that other road. There. And put some commercial right over here. There. Mm. 
and then this section can be some residential right here when there's demand because you want industry next to commercial and you want residential next to both of them get these guys some water Yep, it's already starting to build out. Great. 48% on the unemployment. And you can start to see like, oh, look at the import. It's starting to be a lot more colorful, diversifying a little bit. You can see there is a need for some forestry, a need for some agriculture. Is there some agriculture nearby? There's some agriculture right here. It's really small though, it's not even worth it. That's a nice bigger section that's outside the city limits. There's a lot of forestry right here though. You could do this next to the highway, forestry. Right next to the highway, that would be great. We'll let that develop some more. Population has grown slightly. The city is dramatically more profitable. We've doubled the profitability. So the traffic was solved in 20 minutes. Profitability is higher. The city is growing. There's going to be this industry demand again. Because there's so many people here. Ah, there you go. Look at the import. Dropping back down as it's starting to stabilize. Look at that. So we should put some industry right over here. So, let's see here. Can I... Oh. Wow, this is a huge district. So, we'll kind of create our own right here. And we'll say that, hey, this is going to be forestry. Okay. Okay. Forestry specialization. Boom. Ooh, uh, how far is it? To this road right here. There you go. It's more than it needs. Oh, look. These look like H's. <laughs> and it's called Hickory Heights. That's kind of fitting. And then we can do some generic industry right over here. Again, right next to the highway. So can you do uh, off-ramp and an on-ramp? Absolutely. Right here, we'll do a nice little on-ramp right here. Do an off-ramp. I'll, I'll leave the, you know, the... This dirt road type of thing. I, mean, I think that's kind of nice. And then we can do some regular industry over here. Yeah. Look at the demand. Oh my god, it's enormous. And some of that will be office space. So I'm just kind of letting this work its way down. Where is the nearest farmland area? I mean, smack dab right here in the center. Some way over here. There's none. None nearby.
Okay. Um. Oh yeah, you need electricity. Of course, of course. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um. I can bring it across right here. There you go. You guys got water? Oh, great. This place is already filled out for that. Excellent. And we have electrical shortage. No problem. It looks like we can just increase the budget. Let's see if that helps with the water at all. <gasps> Holy moly. What the hell? Are you guys working? This is hysterical. The entire electrical production is just going, getting obliterated. Oh, wow. There's all the fire trucks are right here. What's what's going on, guys? I mean, you want to take care of this? What are you guys waiting on? I don't know why they just stopped there. I don't know why they just stopped. Are, are we good? These two places are still on fire, man. Jeez. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> oh my god. That whole place was on fire. Maybe it'd be good to move one of those out of the way? Not have it all in one spot? Maybe? So we're going to move one of them. And plunk that over here. Avoid that issue. Take this. Let's move this too. Normally, um, I would not recommend putting them all in one spot. Otherwise, that's that's one of the reasons why. <laughs> that's a good example. Don't put it all in one spot. Oh, this area is just kind of barely out of the way. Here. Okay. So that's good. Demand is a little bit better. Yeah. So look how before, you know, it was importing nothing but goods. And now you see more of a mixture of the various different types of products. That's what you want to see. It should look like that kind of rainbow. So excellent. And then the unemployment rate is down by 20% from 63 to 43 so this looks great. And uh, I'm just waiting to see if we can get some residential demand. It's not happening yet. A lot of commercial demand, though. Well, I mean, I think right over here would be great. In this, in this area. All right there. And then we can put some residential right over here. It's a nice tropical map. tropical map. All right, that's good. Again, it's all near the highway. Near the highway.
Okay, let's take a look at traffic. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, I think it's because of these people walking. I would love to be able to destroy this intersection. I'm so tempted. Oh, hey, uh, guys, this is uh, this isn't a real intersection. You you can just block the box. You can go for it. Knock yourselves out. Yeah. If you put an elevated thing, uh, elevated path right here, it won't keep the people from walking. Unless I do have an idea. tell them, hey, um, don't cross right there. And they can use this elevated crosswalk. Yeah, she's smart right here. Oh, it's a, it's a dude. It's not a girl. Oscar? Unemployed? Yeah, of course you're unemployed. The city had 60% unemployment. I'm obviously letting it run for a while. When it starts to get really bad, then I'm going to take out that intersection because I don't like it. It's too slow. What is... Oh, this is like uh, the wires to hold up this radio tower? That's pretty cool. Let's do another one right here. Can I even... Can I build over this thing? No. For this this radio tower? I can't. Um, I need to tell them that you guys can't walk here, man. Let me see the dimensions of this thing. Oh. That's pretty wicked. Can I just move you back or something? Like that? Is that going to mess you up? Alright. Let me try, try it now. Jeez. That doesn't look normal. Um, don't walk right there. Removing that. I don't think they're going to use that. Yeah, you guys can't use that, can you? How is it that you guys are still crossing after I said, please don't do that? You disobedient little rascals. Pause. Oh, I know why. Here. It's because it's um, an off-ramp and there's no sidewalk there. I need to do this.
there. Now it'll work. Same thing. Come on. There you go. Now it should work. They should come around. Ha! These guys. Is there another intersection here? Or something? That's funny. That's a nice that's a nice little glitch. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to destroy this intersection then. <laughs> or maybe I can just put in another one. I, I was thinking actually of putting another one over here. Let me see how, how much space I got. That will actually be even better. Oh, that's plenty of space. Ooh, that's a little bit tight, isn't it? That'd be a little bit tight. <sighs> this one would fit pretty easily. Could I put one, like, right over here? Pause. Let's do it. That'll be good for the expansion. Smack dab right... Mm. It is still a tight fit. The highway, I just need to move the highway a little bit. Can I... Would I be able to do this? Lost a little bit of this thing right here. There you go. And I'm doing I'm doing that to help alleviate the burden right here. That's the only reason I'm doing that. Okay, let's see what we can do with this highway here. Just for sake of time, I'm, I'm gonna... It's gonna be ugly. Just for sake of time. So I don't have to redo all of it. There you go. So that's to alleviate the burden to the intersection to the left of it. Oh, uh, you need an off-ramp. Hold on. That's this. There's your off-ramp. There's your on-ramp. Off. Come on. On. Play. You can get these on the Steam Workshop. Best highway intersections uh, out there, in my opinion. Integrated paths. Integrated railroads. And so that should help with letting some of the industry and some of the commercial trucks go right over there. Okay, and this one has the same kind of thing right here. Where it should have been like this four-lane road off of this spot. Like that.
left turn only. Somebody needs water? Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. There you go. We still don't have residential demand. Okay, I'll let her run and see what happens. How are we doing? We're still at 80, though. That's pretty good. How are you guys doing? You guys got some lights or something? Anything? No? Just make this a left turn only? Good. So the industry has kind of stabilized. You're not seeing it spike as much, so that's good. The import for the goods has plummeted, and so now it's a lot more diverse, which is fine. That's good. So uh, it'd be nice to do some agriculture. 37% unemployment. So the unemployment rate has been cut in half. So that's great. It'd be nice to do a little bit more industry over here. Again, right next to the highway. Oh, I messed that up right there. Bam. And then it still needs some more commercial. The office space has also filled in. Interesting. Okay. good. Oh, great. Look, that got all cleared up. Nice. Some elevated paths. I don't see them using this at all. That's so weird. Okay, that's fine. You guys don't want to use it, fine. And then are people using this new one? Yeah, and you can see people walk into. Not a whole lot. But there are people walking, so that diffuses some of the traffic over to here. It'd be nice to kind of straighten out that highway, of course. Great. Where's the traffic? 84. Solid. Still no residential demand. Was there just a lot of empty residential spots in the city? Yeah, there still are. I guess there's just a lot of empty residential spots, so the residential was overbuilt. And so, like, all of this is apartments, and all of this is houses, it should be mixed. So like this top section should 
or uh, this bottom section should be homes and these apartments should kind of be moved to like here or something like that that would be better yeah there's a lot of empty home spots I do see that all right how are we doing on garbage um I mean we're okay water we're okay the education eligibility is fine there's not a university here I think that's fine for the time being healthcare is great fire safety Um, it'd be nice to put a fire station to be safe, like over here. That'll be good. And somebody over here needed water, I think. Yeah. There you go. There's a lot of need for commercial, which is amazing. I'm looking around to see like where where could you put that? What what is this? What is this building? Oh, it's a mall? Okay. Uh, we empty the cemetery before. It'll have this little icon that it's finished emptying, so then you can delete it. And then we can delete one of these crematoriums. There's not a huge amount of dead people being uh, wa waiting to be picked up. Um, I mean, I don't know where we could put some more commercial. There's obviously some spots right here. Possibly put it on this side of the homes. I'd prefer not to. Um, how about we remove this zoning of homes right here? Since there's already excess. I'm looking. It's nice to put the commercial away from the homes, but it looks like Holden put the commercial right next to him. So I guess we'll go with uh, the way the city already kind of is. Um, maybe I can do like office space right there and then I can make this commercial right here. Boom, boom, boom. Same thing here. Can I can I destroy this these power things right here? There we go. And then right there. a small adjustment nothing significant and then we can do like power from right here and then I can destroy this and make this add some commercial right here mm. filling that in I think we've got 
Oh, are you good? Are you guys good on the water? Okay, good. Where's the unemployment rate? 33. And all of these shops have filled in. Wow, that's amazing to me. Why does this road not connect? Let's see here. Uh, where's that dirt road at? Like this. Just some more commercial and some more offices. And there's still some more need for more industry, but I think we may be good on that. Yeah, so you can see the goods has pretty much shrunk down to nothing. So that's great. So no more generic industry, you need these others. Avoid building the oil and ore unless you've got unlimited oil and ore put in. So we're good there. So after that, you can just do office space. So do we have, we have definitely a lot of spots for office space. You can do right there, office space right there. There you go. Let's see if that fills in. Let's fast forward. All right, we're making great progress here. I mean, a lot of other non-traffic tips for this city. As always, if you do like the video, please do smash that like button. Live streams are on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. Previous videos are on YouTube. There's actually a playlist for a lot of submitted city fixes on YouTube. Um, so this traffic is starting to get a little bit busy. So it'd be good for us to do another off-ramp and another on-ramp. So let's go ahead and do that now. We can do... Um, off ramp from here to there. And then there you go. There's also a beginner's guide, metro subway guide, traffic manager guide as well on YouTube. But thank you everybody for watching. City Skyline submitted city traffic fix and city fix live stream. So you can see a lot more traffic here now, of course. Yeah, there we go. Industry traffic does ebb and flow, so do keep that in mind. Hey, Narasa, thank you, man. Appreciate your being here. Thanks for being a consistent viewer. I'm glad you liked it. And I mean, some of the reasons why this traffic is kind of slow is just because I haven't updated these roads, these dirt roads. That has an, a negative impact, but I'm trying to keep it the same there. Let's uh, update the uh, uh, speed limits.
Just updating the speed limits. I think that's good. I think I caught all of them. Great walkability for the city. Yeah, that office space is all filling in. And look, industry demand has plummeted, and that's because I did so much office building. Look at the unemployment rate. I think this is the best unemployment reduction I've ever seen. There you go. Look at the import. It's the lowest it's been. Great. City is super profitable. You know, this is... I'm gonna just tell these guys, you guys just gotta go, man. You guys take way too long. It's a pretty long strip. Shorten it up a little bit by doing that. Give him another way out. Got some stuff for the water. Let's max that out. Still no demand for residential. Shocking. Just a lot more demand for commercial still. There you go. I do want to do a little bit of a test. What happens if I put in some some apartment complexes? I'm just kind of curious. What what is it going to do? I'm putting some homes. Will there be absolutely no production, no development in this area? I'm just kind of curious. I mean, everything in the city just sprouts so fast. All right. A lot more traffic. Good, as expected, as you build out some industry. Yep, let me upgrade this to a six laner. And then both of these lanes to go left. That'll help it out. And then I want to upgrade this to six, too. And I want to have two lanes to go straight. And my pathway got destroyed.
Oh yeah, let me go ahead and tell them that you guys can block the box right here. Obviously there's people crossing and it's going to slow you guys down, but that's alright. Oh, are they finally using this? Okay, good, they are. Good, all three lanes are being used. Excellent. Good, I cleared that up. Nice. I think that's probably close to a good stopping point. Let's see where else we got just some some issues here. You got a light here. There you go. I'll help that out. Where else do we see some red? No. No. Light right here. And I think that's... Is that good? I think that's good. I'm looking around. Water right here. I'm looking to see... Oh yeah, here we go. Can I make this a uh, two-lane on-ramp? Nope. There. That'll help it flow. Tell him don't wait here, just block the box. And then we can change this back. I was kind of holding that up. I was trying to help it out. And we can probably make this a two lane or two. See if that will help them. There we go. Speed that up a little bit. I think we're good. And we're going to have to change this here. A lot of cars coming in from right there. Speed that up. Oh my god, look at that. Hey, there's a fire department right here. Are you working, my man? Are you working? Look at that, that's amazing. <laughs> oh man, that cracks me up. That's fine, it'll get fixed up over time. Yeah, we'll update this road too. Two to four, basically. Yeah. All right. Yeah, having the dirt roads, it, it does slow down the traffic, obviously, a little bit. That hurts the traffic flow a little bit. But other than that, it's all right. And I think it's time to really destroy this and put in a more proper... Uh, this is a proper highway intersection. I just don't think they work very well. They're not effective compared to this. But... I think the stream has gone on long enough. That'll be kind of like next steps. Because we've been at 80 the entire time.
and then finally putting in a mass transit system. So I do want to I do want to pause cuz I think that's a good stopping point. I normally like to get it up to 80. But I think we've gone on for a while. Let me um Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to pause it right there. Let's just summarize what we did. Basically for the traffic, what it really needed was just a, this this intersection is very difficult to work with, but it had another road that kind of went up here. Get, removed that, updated this part, updated some dedicated turning lanes. Some roads went from two to four. And that was really it. And, you know, the traffic went up to like 84, 85% in like 20 minutes. So that was very easy. Um, but the big piece is the city's unemployment rate was 63%. And so that's worked down to 19 now, as that's grown, the traffic, that's readjusted the traffic. And so it, it, we're kind of at a new phase now that the city is in a different spot. And so now more traffic work needs to be done. F Field Gaming, what is up? Welcome. Hi. Just actually finishing up. So the next steps for the city would be this intersection needs to be replaced. I would put in something like this or one of my other intersections. That will be helpful. It'll be good to put another, uh, replace all of these two-lane dirt roads with proper, you know, roads. That will have a big impact. Um, uh, and then putting in a subway system. You're from, is that India? Is that what that flag is? Thanks for being here, man. I'm just kind of finishing up. So we took the traffic from 60 to like 85, and now it's kind of dropping down as we're getting adjustments with industry. So I just some, uh, and I would take out the tram system as well, because uh, I think that will slow down the traffic a little bit. Um, but the, the traffic should get up to 80 uh, by replacing this highway intersection with a more proper one. And then I would actually go ahead and destroy this roundabout and make this road just a regular intersection. Um, and then keeping on building out the industry and commercial until there's residential demand. I was hoping that we would see that. But, all right, that's going to be it for, uh, for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. So please do like the video if you liked it. You can hit dislike if you did not. And if you want to support me more, smash that subscribe or follow button. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.